Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Izzy smith Waydell. I'm the state representative for the 49th district uh, in the heart of Lancaster County. Um, yeah, thanks. Um, and before I go any further, I want to tell you what I did this morning. Um, I drive up and back from the Capitol. Uh, so I got up at 5 this morning to go to Central Market to buy flowers um, for a young person in our county uh, who died by suicide. Um, and it feels like it was just a couple of weeks ago. It was literally just a couple of weeks ago in Lancaster County uh, that we were all doing that. And it is unimaginable to me uh, that so many people who live in my community, so many people who work in this building behind us, think that their petty, narrow views of the world of education, of what school and athletics should be like, are more important than the lives of our children. Nothing. Nothing is more important than the life of a child. And I am just sick and tired to death of my community having to bury bright, beautiful, wonderful young children. We come to this building, we come to work in this building, and what we are supposed to do is guarantee for our young people a beautiful childhood and a fully funded education and a safe environment where they can play and feel cherished and live their truth. So I thank my colleagues and all of you here today for being a part of this bill package. I want to give a lot of credit uh, to representatives Jessica Benham and Malcolm Kenyatta's over here. Where's Malcolm? Malcolm's right there. Um, as well as to Representative uh, Joe Hohenstein for showing incredible leadership in this space, providing leadership that doesn't just move bills that everybody already agrees to, but leadership that states exactly what it is our children deserve and then gets after it. So uh, I don't have too much more talking to do. What my bill does is simple. When a school undergoes new construction or new renovations, it will, once this bill passes, that school will include gender-neutral bathrooms and gender-neutral locker rooms and provides for every person, for every student, to participate in academics and athletics in line with their gender. Not what somebody else says their gender is, but what they say their gender is. And we are seeing this around the world and around the country and around the Commonwealth a lot. So I'll say it one more time. Nobody's view of the world, nobody's need or desire to not have to put up with change matters more than the life of our children. Thank you. Yeah.